Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It is that time of the year, folks. Back to school. Either you're a student or a cheat teacher. Teacher? I need to go back to school, I think. No. I'm bringing to you back to school hairstyles. It's my first video for this year. I'm excited. Today's video is gonna be not the ordinary braid. We're gonna be dealing with the five strand, four strand, and infinity braids. Who's excited? Before we jump into the hairstyles, I want to mention there is going to be a giveaway at the end of the video. I'm excited for winners. So if you want to skip the hairstyles and then obviously come back again after you finish watching the giveaway, I will have the timestamp for you in the description box so you can go there right away. Let's get started. The first hairstyle is probably the most difficult out of all of them, just because it's a little more technical. We're doing the five strand braid Dutch version. So for the braid portion, I'm only gonna stick with this hair right here. So I'm gonna grab a section right in the front. Take your four fingers and just slide it from the bottom to the top to create five equal sections. So this is gonna be the first section. We're gonna go underneath the second, clean it up, hold. Take the second section and go over the third section. Make sure everything's holding. All right, let's start with the other side. So taking the first section, go underneath the second and over the third, just like that. So it's always under the second, over the third, under the second, over the third. And now I'm gonna continue just by adding hair to the outer sections. Same as a Dutch braid, you add hair only to the outer portions. So I'm gonna place it down, grab a little bit of hair, and make sure, well, depends how big of a braid you're gonna do, I'm gonna stick to where the mohawk portion is. Once I reach the crown, I'm gonna stop adding hair to the braid and just braid off as much as I can. Now comes my favorite part, pulling apart the braid to of course create more texture and invention. If you guys didn't know, we actually just opened up our own shop, Milibu.co. If you guys wanna come check it out, come say hi. Quick hack to make these kind of braids stay in place and they would flow evenly with your hair, take a mini bobby pin or bobby pin of your choice. Pick up your braid, take a little bit of hair from underneath the braid and some of your braid and just very gently just secure it all together and it's not gonna move. You can't see the bobby pin, love this hack. So this hairstyle is simple enough to the point where you're you're not utilizing all of your hair, especially if you have layers. So this is why I wanted to include this one. It's really edgy and it just amps up your regular hair or hairstyle, whatever it is. So here's a really awesome hack if you're doing this kind of braid mohawk style. Don't take it out that day, sleep with it, wake up the next morning if you overslept and do the following to create a whole new type of look. Take your two fingers, go right on top of your ears, grab a nice section, don't go all the way, just grab nice two sections and bring it all the way around and hide the clear elastic. Take another clear elastic and just tie those two sections together in the middle. And to finish it off, I'm gonna do a quick topsy tail with the little ponytail that we just created. You guys see what I mean? It literally takes 20 seconds. It looks completely different. I love this one. There's enough texture and there's enough dimension. <laughs> Next hairstyle is going to be a really awesome Viking-esque, rocker-esque inspired. Haven't done one of those in a long time. I'm really excited, but it is braided. Don't stress out, you will all get there. Brady, take some patience. We literally just talked about another t-shirt design. Instead of, you know how Nike says, just do it. We're gonna do, just braid it, period. For this braid, we're doing a four strand braid. It's a lot easier than the five strand, in my opinion. It's just memorization. So, for this hack, we're gonna take the section of hair that we're gonna work with from the beginning and create a little pompadour out of it. This way, it gives you a little extra volume at the top, and then it holds down your hair while you braid. And then we're gonna do, get that into four strands. Take your three fingers, one, two, three, four. There we go. So let's start my right side. The section I'm gonna take under the second and then over the third. So since I went under, I'm gonna go over the second section now. So taking the outer section, go over the second and then we're gonna go under the third. So again, under, 
the second and over the third. So this one is gonna go over the second and under the third. Continue doing this. So remember, if you're going under the first time, you're gonna go over on the other side. So basically it's always flip-flopping each other. But don't forget that pattern. That's how you create that four strand braid. Once I get about three fourths of the way down, I'm gonna tie off the braid and I'm gonna be left with some hair down. You can either leave it down as you wish. You can create a ponytail. I'm gonna make a messy bun. Don't forget to buy your bobby pins. Take them out. We don't need them anymore. You know what I think looks better? Just pull apart all the strands. But focus, if you do have blonde hair, take out the blonde pieces. Just give a little bit more texture and dimension. Overall, I think it looks very, very pretty. Viking-esque and rocker-esque. We like those here. So the next hairstyle is going to be assisted by my lovely husband, Andre. You guys loved him in the last time he did the video. I thought that was really fun and brilliant. His hairstyle is going to be an infinity braid. I definitely think it's very simple. Want me to show you? <laughs> it's also his birthday today. Let's do this. I love it. We're gonna start this by splitting it in the middle. And like last time I said, bunch is about this much. Okay, so we're gonna take the hair, we're gonna split it in half. Then we're gonna take a small little section from underneath on my left side. And then we're gonna go under, and then we're gonna go over the second section. And we're gonna blend it. With Get on to the giveaway. Because it is back to school, I want to gift you guys with one of our t-shirts that we just created. Either the Milibu, there we go, or the Texture and Dimension. So there are gonna be four winners. Doesn't matter which t-shirt you want. You will just have to let me know in the comment section. So the rules are very simple. You have to be a subscriber to this channel, Milibu, and then sign up to our website, milibu.co. It's very simple. There's like a little sign up on the right-hand side of the screen. And then comment down below if you are going back to school, either what grade you're in, college, whatever it is, maybe your favorite subject, what you're going for in college. And then also let me know which t-shirt you would want to win, the Milibu or texture dimension. The giveaway is going to end next Wednesday, probably around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my time. So I think I will announce it probably in the video, in the comment section, and then on Instagram, I think, and then Facebook. And then of course I will email the winners with their sizes and their address. So I think that'll be fun. So a week from today, Wednesday, around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And yes, it is open internationally. I'm excited for this. And that concludes this video. Hope you guys liked these a little bit more difficult back to school hairstyles. I am bringing back hairstyle a day very soon. So keep a lookout for that. I will announce it probably on Instagram or Facebook, one of those. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Don't forget about the giveaway. All the information will be down below in the description box. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.